Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add bank feeds to QuickBooks Desktop Pro Plus for bank and credit card accounts to import transactions from those types of accounts if desired and if available from the account's financial institution. To view a listing of participating financial institutions, select Banking, Bank Feeds, Participating Financial Institutions from the menu bar to open a web page portal that lists them. To filter the list of institutions by service type, click the Desired button in the upper left corner of the page. Matching institutions then appear below in an alphabetically sorted list. Click the name of the desired institution in this list to see its bank feed services and supported download methods. The supported account statement download methods for QuickBooks Desktop include Direct Connect, which lets you connect directly to the account in QuickBooks Desktop to download transactions, or Web Connect, which lets you download a statement of transactions for the account, which you can then separately import into QuickBooks. Additionally, if you intend to use the online bill payment options within QuickBooks Desktop, ensure you apply for online bill payment for the account at the account's financial institution and are approved. Also, find out if this service is free or if there are fees for the service. Also, if you intend to connect using Direct Connect, you will also need to set that up for your account at the financial institution. Finally, you can only connect up to 40 accounts in QuickBooks Desktop. To set up a bank feed for an account, select Banking, Bank Feeds, Set up bank feed for an account from the menu bar. Let QuickBooks Desktop temporarily close all open windows to proceed if prompted to do so in a message box. Then select the name of your account's financial institution from the searchable drop-down in the first page of the Bank Feed Setup dialog box that opens to automatically move to the next screen. In the second screen, ensure you have enrolled for Direct Connect for the account with the financial institution or contact them using the contact information provided to set that up. To connect to your accounts when you are ready, then click the Continue button. On the third screen, then enter the username and password to connect to your accounts at the financial institution. Then click the Connect button to connect to your bank server. Finally, select the bank account to connect to your account in QuickBooks and click the Finish button after the connection finishes. Alternatively, to import account transactions downloaded from your financial institution as a Web Connect or QBO file, if they don't provide Direct Connect, download the account's statement as a Web Connect or QBO file. To then import that file into QuickBooks Desktop, select Banking, Bank Feeds, Import Web Connect File from the menu bar to open the Open Online Data File dialog box. Use this dialog box to find and select the downloaded WebConnect file for the account. Then click the Open button within the dialog box to continue. In the Select Bank Account dialog box that opens, you will see an Accounts information appear. To select the corresponding account in QuickBooks, select the Use an Existing QuickBooks Account option and then use the Adjacent drop-down to select the QuickBooks account. Alternatively, to create a new account in QuickBooks, select the Create a new QuickBooks account option, and then type a name for the new account into the Adjacent field. To continue, then click the Continue button. Then click the OK button in the message box that appears to tell you the import was successful. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.